When the Dooley's hooked up to the gooseneck, and the gooseneck's backed up to the north barn, that generally means one thing. The calves are starting to roll in for this year's sale, just as they have the past 15 years in a row. For those of you that's ever had a sale before, you know this is the time when you unload the trailer, stand there and look at the calves, scratch your head, and wonder what in the world you just got yourself into. We showed at the county fair level and got along good at the county fair level, but we had no idea what we were doing. Uh, when we were younger, there's a guy that lives over here at Humiston, Dave Jennison. He, he helped us out a lot when we were younger, and uh, if it wouldn't have been for him, I probably would never would have got started in this business. But by the time my brother and younger sister, um, they're, my brother's 11 years younger than I am, and by the time he was showing, then we kind of had to kind of an idea of what we was doing and he had a lot more success in the show ring than me or my older sister did so but uh, it, it takes a little time you got to pay your dues it's been it's been a good business it's a lot of people go to work and they don't like what they do I'm fortunate enough to halfway make a living at something I love to do so it's kind of it, it's not easy every day but uh, at least you get up and do what you like doing every day This barn's our, we call it our receiving barn or north barn. Uh, we bring our calves in from wherever. We try to get them 10, 15, 20 at a time. Take them by the vet clinic, give them all their shots, vaccinations. Bring them here, unload them, and Chad or Jake or whoever's working, they run them right through, put halters on them, and uh, we, we rinse them and blow them loose in that pen before we ever tie them and while they're going through weaning and that way it just makes them a lot easier easier to handle. They're kind of fresh off the cow and, and a little disoriented and they haven't really got their bearings back, maybe a little weak. We want to get them while they're weak so they don't get us down first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of them some of them jump off the tray that are going here and they, and they take to the halter real well and the feed bucket real well. And some of them, you take a feed bucket in there and they're scared to death, they don't know what that feed is sitting in the trough. So, some of them takes a little longer, but you know, some of them be out four or five days, some of them take 10 days. We have another barn we'll get to in a minute, and you know, and then that's where we do most of our, during our sale and, and clipping for state fairs and the cool rooms and stuff are down there. But we were trying to wean calves and, and show calves all at the same time to people, uh, it'd be a wreck. You just couldn't have a barn big enough, to, you know. Because you want a place and you want to bring them up here because when they're balling at night, I don't care if it's 40 degrees at night, we still have the windows shut up in the house and the air conditioner going. It's not what you'd call real fancy, but it works. 